If you're asking, yes we are. We are stranded deep. Oh. Hey, thought that was a complete shipwreck. I was about to say we stranded good. I've played this a little bit, get the hang of it, but let's go ahead and get started. Looks like we got a nice shipwreck out there. Um let's get to surviving, I guess. Of course this isn't your average zombie apocalypse. Um don't get me wrong, I love DayZ. H1Z1 looks good. The hammer, sweet! Oh, right, I don't have to make one right away. Um, but I'm actually excited about this game a lot. It's something different, and it's just a basic survival game. Of course, it's early stages, like any other game on Steam. You know, always early release, which is a good thing. That's what I like. We're going to go ahead and swim out here. Uh, pocket knife will fight against sharks. They're still scary as shit, especially the great whites out in the deep part. Um, but anyway, yeah, the games, it, it's just, it's something different, I guess. It's not your basic zombie survival game, it's just survive. You're out here stranded, like, fucking A, flashlight, and you just need to survive. So, one thing is, too, you'll know when you come across sharks, because the music really gives it away. Let's see. Come on. Oh yes, we want that. We'll boil seawater. And you can continue to get more seawater. Of course, we're in the ocean, so you just scoop down and grab it. But you boil it for fresh water. So, all right, here's another toolbox. Oh my gosh, an axe. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What, what fish is that? Oh, we'll worry about fish later. Okay, let me get a breath, and then we'll go down in there. Oh, you hear that music? The shark. Now I am going to go after the shark. Oh shit, oh shit. They will bite you, but if you like stay on top of the, you know, just kick some ass, they won't bother you. And best thing to do is just kill them and get the meat, especially starting off. If you get, let me do it, there we go. Get under them, you can actually do a lot of damage like this and there's not much they can do right away. See, already killed it. Wow, that's about the quickest I've ever killed one. Machete works the best. Spear, not so good that I've noticed. Just stab it a couple times here. Oh, fuck. Called his buddy in. I'm gonna have to get a breath of air. Wow, they're really aggressive right now. Usually don't get three on you right away like that. Go ahead and try to kill him out. Okay. We don't want to worry about that meat. And plus, that went in the deep, deep. Not even going to bother going down there. Not going to happen. Let's get back to the shipwreck here. Go in the door here. And we want to be kind of quick, of course. Holy shit, a flare gun. Damn, I'm full. What can I drop? We'll take that. I can always get shark meat again, so come back and get it if I really want it. I have not seen a flare gun, is it like? Save your life or scare away predators. And yeah, right now the attack system of the sharks isn't so great, I'm sure you can tell it wouldn't be that easy to kill a shark in real life. I mean, I guess if you could get under one and stab it at it would be, but it'd be hard to get under one. Anyway, pick up this stick. Hey, I'm under inventory. We're gonna go over here and uh, look, we got some rocks. We definitely need some rocks. So we're gonna drop everything real quick. Oh, and right click to move stuff and stand that up. Damn, I dropped all the seawater. Let's go ahead and fill that up if we can. Bucket of seawater. E inventory. Drop it again. Try to stand it up. Bucket of seawater. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Definitely want a lot of rocks. At least six to make a fireplace. So we'll probably have to go to another island to get a fireplace foundation. We can make a campfire, but foundation's definitely a little bit better. So stick. So I think what we're going to do real quick, actually, is we are going to go to another island. So, going to drop that stick, but I am going to keep the rock. And 
Could drop the bottle of water, but still not going to do that. Not yet. Put that in there. Can't put a lot of stuff in your raft. Don't even bother to try. You'll glitch it out once you get it too heavy. And then, from what I noticed, it does not get unglitched. Or for me, it did not. here oh yeah and of course to get it out to see just right click and drag it don't want to sink it there and we're stuck Not moving very fast. Okay, so apparently it glitches out when uh, you have the little side of in it like it's just too heavy to go so unfortunately I guess we'll go to this one over here yeah. unfortunately I just can't take anything with me not the flare gun I mean I can take stuff with me but I'm only gonna take the bucket of course flashlight hammer and axe the flare gun I had to leave the water bottle I had to leave that's fine that might be the big red light. Um, because this bucket of seawater I can drink out of once I'm born, so It's just what I had to do. I've noticed when it comes to the sharks, as long as you stay moving, you're okay. Once you stop their fin or whatever, they'll, they'll just come and hit the boat and knock you out. That definitely looks like a great light, too. Um, hard as shit to kill. I tried and tried and tried. Killed tiger sharks as you can tell, but the great white's just too hard to kill. That island looks closer until you, you know, I don't know. We're just going to go to this one right now. Oh, oh there it is. It's a tiger shark this time. It's alright, I'm sure we'll see a great white. Come on, baby, go. Now, I did find an engine part when I played this. So. And it's one of four, so I'm wondering if you can already put the motors on the, or the engines. There we go. On the boats, or what the deal is. Maybe it's not implemented, the boat to actually use it on. Because you can build a little wooden raft as well, so. Let's see. That looks like just a tiger shark. Being followed by one too, nice. Drinking a cup of milk. Alright, let's hope this island has a lot to offer us. Oh, hey, a shipwreck on it. That is a very good thing, I hope. Now, there, um, 
The nose of the ships will be sticking up sometimes. But other times they'll actually be in the water, so you've got to be looking like this time I wasn't, so I could have easily... Oh. Get easily went over one, and I didn't even realize it. Drag this up here. Okay. A stick. Not a bad find. Another stick. Alright, two rocks in sight. That's good. That's going to be a total of three we got. Everything in your inventory, four, sweet, because there's another one. Everything in your inventory stacks till four. So, keep that in mind. Oh, look, stick has a shadow, but I don't. So, we're going to go ahead and drop everything in the center here. Looks like, this looks actually, looks like a decent little place to build. We probably will, as long as I get enough rocks to do what I want to do. And that's enough to make the fireplace, so one more and I could make spears. <clears throat> Probably not that lucky, but still. Oh, hey! How about that? Grab up the sticks, too. I mean, this is... Wow. We're extremely lucky now. Now we're... Wow. Now we got too many rocks. Well, not really. I don't think that's an actual problem. Go ahead and drop everything here. Organize that a little bit better. There we go. Uh, let's hit F here, and if you hit F, you can see the time, date, all that. But also your food, your vitals, and your hydration level. So, holy shit, another rock! Oh yeah, that's right. I found that. Can pick it up. Wow. Look at all these rocks. I mean, that's... One problem I've had this entire game is not enough rocks, and you gotta go down to, like, two, three islands, maybe four. So. No way of entering the ship, huh? Well, that's not a good thing if you can't even get the loot out of it. I bet you there's a chest in there, too. Oh well. Well, we can always go find another one. Wow, I've never even seen that many rocks at one time. It's amazing. It's like gold. Now, since we've started this, I don't think you could start any better with this game. What we've already found in the beginning. So, actually, we're gonna let that tree grow. We want to chop a big one. And coconuts will fall too. I mean, you can climb these that easy. And look, the sound quits after halfway going up the tree. And you can knock your coconuts out. Or, I guess you can even cut the top out of it. And sound should start. There we go. But anyway, we're just gonna cut this down and cut it into logs. So. I know with the primitive axe, it takes a minute. And this one looks like it's a little bit quicker, maybe. I think it takes like eight hits with the primitive and maybe six with this one. Anyway. Go ahead and get a bunch of sticks. You're going to need it for shelters, foundations, uh, rafts if you want to create a wooden raft. So, And the tops of the trees there make the roof and the bedding, I believe. I know for sure the roof. I haven't tried the bed. Okay getting dark. Um, we are going to build a campfire, but first I'm going to go ahead and get all the sticks. Might as well. Now normally, um, I'm sure you're wondering, how do you get an axe? say because I've already got an axe so I'm not going to make one right away. Well you take these sticks and take some rope and I'll show you where we get the rope from. Oh I didn't even realize if that had the plant on here. There's a potato plant I believe. That's potatoes which is good but let's see if we can find something real quick with the uh, little yucca I think it is. Yucca. Yucca. 
little yucca tree and you get your fibers from it. Oh god, if this island doesn't have it. Here we go. And it does regrow. That's nice. Um, I think it regrows quicker than it's supposed to. Oh, inventory's full. 